Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part fifth and part sixth of question number four. In this, you have to simplify these expression using identity. And to solve this, we are going to use these one of these two identities. Now let's you uh, well, let's solve the first part. Here it is. Minus sign means if I consider this as a, this complete term as a, and this complete term as b, so this is actually a minus b whole square. Similarly, if I com consider this complete value as a and this complete value as b, so again this is a b whole square. Or you can consider these two as different variable or you can consider this as x or this is y. Now, if you want to expand this using the identity, we know that a minus b whole square is basically equal to a square minus b square plus b square minus 2ab. So, I can expand this as a square plus b square minus 2ab and our a is 2.5p. So, this should be equal to a square plus b square which is 1.5 q whole square minus 2 into a which is 2.5 p into b which is 1.5 q. So this is the expansion of this first term. Similarly, I want to expand this second term. Again this is x minus y whole square. Same formula can be applied which is x square plus y square minus 2xy. So, our x here is 1.5p. So, this would be 1.5p whole square plus 2.5q whole square and minus 2 into a x into y and x here is 1.5p and y here is 2.5q. So, this is the second expression here. Now, if I want to further solve this, this is 2.5p whole square means 2.5 square as well as p square and 2.5 square if I want to calculate 2.5 square what I can do is I can calculate 25 square and after that I can put two decimal after counting from the right hand side because there will be two sign because 2.5 square means 2.5 multiplied with 2.5 and this is nothing but 22, 25 into 25 and because there are two decimals so I can put two decimal after counting from the right hand side. So 25 square I know is 625 and after that I have to put two decimal from right hand side so six, this should be 6.25 p square. Similarly 1.5 square can be written as 15 square which is 220. 5 and I have to put decimal after 2. This is q square and this value this value I am not going to multiply this because ultimately this value and this value is going to cancel out. So there is no need to multiply this. I can write this as it is okay this is the first expression and minus this is second expression so if I directly open the bracket so because there is a negative sign outside the bracket so all the signs inside the bracket gets changed so this will become negative this will become negative and again this will become positive so this will be 1.5 p square will be minus 2.25 p square. This will be become minus 625 q square and this will become plus 2 into 1.5 p into 2.5 q. Now if I have to solve this, this p square which is like term to this so these two can be solved together 
this q square this q square are like terms so these can be solved together and at the last this can be solved together this is 2 into 2.5 into 1.5 here also it is 2.2 into 2.5 into 1.5 into p and q basically these two terms are same and this is plus minus so these two values can be cancelled out now i have to solve the remaining like terms so this and this are like terms so 6.25 and minus 2.25 can be solved so plus minus is minus so 6.25 minus 2.25 is 4 so this is 4p square similarly i have to solve this with this again plus minus is minus so 6.25 minus 2.25 is again 4 but with negative sign because here the greater value has negative sign here the greater value has positive sign so this is positive p square and this is negative q square so this should be the answer here similarly if you want to solve this again if i consider this complete value as x or you can say a and this complete value as b x or you can say y so this is complete this is basically x plus y whole square so i know that the formula for this is x square plus y square plus 2xy so i can expand this using this formula so this can be written as this is x so this is x square so this is ab whole square plus y square so y is bc so this should be bc whole square and plus 2 into x into y so this is 2 into x into y and our x is ab and R by is BC. So I have expanded this using this formula. And this term which is minus 2AB square C will remain as it is. Now I have to solve this. So this can be written as A square B square. Or you can simply uh, make it uh, write it AB whole square. Similarly here also either you can write it as B square C square or there is no need to solve this you, you can also write it as same and now i have to solve this i have to multiply all these so there is only one constant so two will remain as it is a will remain as it is but here we are multiplying 2b we know that whenever the two things two variables are multiplied and if the base are same means they are base, same variable their power gets added so b raised to power 1 and b raised to power 1 becomes b raised to power 2 and 1 c and this is 2 a b square c. Now I have to solve this and this are like terms a b square c here also a b square c and 2 2 are same. So plus minus value can be cancelled out and the remaining one which is a square b square plus b square c square should be the answer here so this is how you can solve these parts in the, la in the next video we will solve the last part of this question thank you